How's it going everybody? This is Sable Fire 4. We're going to show some matches with the updated Sable IV deck now that we can use Inteleon with it and not just the Zigzagoons. Uh, this is going to be game one. I uh, hope you guys uh, look forward to it. Uh, it's all we can really showcase right now because any other deck is just too slow and too weak to fight off against these uh, frog dudes. Inteleon Drizzly line taking over the meta. Oh wow, okay, looks like we're going to be playing up against uh, uh, Mewtwo V Union. Wow, really bold of uh, my opponent to use this in standard uh, because of the discard outlet. Uh, we don't really have the amazing discard outlets in expanded, uh, in standard that we do in expanded, what I meant to say. But I guess if you have the Shadow Rider Calyrex line like she does here, then you can power up the dude quickly if you get him out at least. So... Looks like this is what she's going to try out. Now the good news for me is that this should be an easy matchup. I guess one of the benefits of Sable IV is that if you do play against these uh, Shadow Rider decks, with Mewtwo or not, just any Dark Weak deck, you should have a good time against it. Sable IV, Darkness Pokemon, can hit for weakness. And, you know, with a few damage counters, you can just do 190 damage. That becomes 380 with the weakness. So all of a sudden, easy ways to KO these Pokemon. So that's good. We're going to use Quick Ball and get our Galarian and Moltres V. It's important to get this guy out quick so you can get Darkness Energies on it and then use the Energy Switch to get the Darkness Energies on Sableye. It's our only way to have a little bit of Energy Acceleration on the guy. Uh, you can easily get the Energy Switches once you get the Drizzly family out. You can just instantly search for them. So two copies might not seem like a lot. But it should get the job done if we play our cards right and if our deck responds as the way it's supposed to. So I'm not really going to make an attack this turn. We're just going to set up, of course. And it's a, just a perfect opportunity to use the load search. Reuse your broken items in this deck. Too damn good. You can even get a supporter in a pinch. It's just amazing, man. So Galarian Zixagun, we're going to spread the damage counters and her Pokemon. And with Sableye V, what should I get? What should I get? Let's get a level ball. Now, I guess maybe that was kind of a waste because I had the incense in hand. Uh, but I mean, I guess I could have grabbed Marnie, but it's not like we specifically need some stuff in the, from the deck right now. I got what I need here. I just need to evolve into my dude to start spreading some more damage. And then we can make an attack. Uh, she's going to be running a bit slow as well. You know, these sort of uh, Shadow Rider decks, they're extremely fast, but they still need to evolve into the guys and get their energy acceleration before they can attack. So once they do get rolling, then they become super fast. But in the beginning, they need a few turns to set up as well. Like at least one turn to evolve into the dudes and then attach energies if you've got a lot of them out in the first place. So Fog Crystal, she gets another of those uh, Shadow Rider horses. Play it down. Uh, there's the Galarian Articuno as well. I guess that's a, a discard outlet for the V Union pieces. It's not a really good one, but it's it's one that you can use in standard. We don't have a lot of uh, extra choices. And uh, one of the Shadow Rider Calyrexes is ready three energies on but she's just in a rough spot we don't have the weakness guard energy in standard format now too so you can't even easily negate your weakness a deck like this I don't think they really have a way to do that metal decks they can use the coding energy at least and other decks have their options uh, but this one not so much so we're going to use the level ball. Let me get the Drizzly right here. And we are going to evolve into it. And I can grab a free trainer card now from the deck. What are we going to get? I think I need to get a supporter because I think we messed up in the beginning. We should have grabbed like maybe a supporter or like a scoop up net. So I guess I'm going to get Avery here. It's a chance to disrupt my opponent. Uh, she's going to have to sacrifice one of the Shadow Rider Calyrexes, no matter what. Uh, Crobat, she's definitely going to get rid of that. 
and then she has a choice of Articuno or one of the horses there before it evolved so that's what she does what I expected and we're gonna take things slow once again I don't think I'm gonna attack because with just one damage counter I'm not gonna be doing a lot of damage anyway so let's put the second attachment on the other Sable IV so this way I have both of them semi set up even if one dies I can just retaliate with the other one so it's good and I'm not too worried to be honest I'm being a bit too passive using load search setting up but I just know that no matter what I got this game in the bag once we put damage counters on her V maxes that are weak to darkness she can't escape the KOs unless there's a way she can do that that I don't know of alright and the V Union, Mew to V Union, is also weak to dark. So if she does get that out, that's also a Pokemon that's easily gonna die. Give three prizes. Right, so attach energies, blender wood door, do a lot of cards. Be nice if I had like a a, a copycat. That would have been good. But we just have what we we need in hand. We have everything we need. I'm gonna evolve into the Inteleon. Use the scoop up now, the zigzagoon, just do that all day long, and then Sableyes can get the KOs. Um, eventually, I will need to see like energy switch, but for now, we're good with what we have. Six energies on our field. I think, I don't know if that's enough to KO the Sableye V. I have to do some math, but. Shadow Rider Calyrex doesn't do a lot of damage on its own. Uh, you need a lot of Psychic Energies to really get one hit KOs using that guy. It's best used to power up other Pokemon in my opinion. But Turbo decks that just run four of these and just uh, fill the field with energies. Then Shadow Rider Calyrex can't become a problem. Okay, and she's going to switch with the Air Balloon. So now it's time for an attack, and uh, yeah, she does enough damage, 220 for 7 energies. Yeah, that's enough. That's not too many to get the job done. And now it's revenge time. Promote the Sable IV. We are going to evolve into the Inteleon. I'm actually a bit surprised she hasn't surrendered, because you, know, you should know that you're probably going to be losing this game. Uh, I didn't brick. I got what I need, so... We're just going to finish you off. Put the third damage counter on the uh, active Shadow Rider there. Attach the Darkness Energy and then... I mean, I can play the Elder Goss and grab a Supporter, but I think I'm just going to play down the uh, Sable because that's just going to do the job anyway. Evolve into the Drizzly next turn. So 380 damage with the Weakness. It's an easy task for us to get that KO. And I get three prizes just like that. Now, if you didn't have, if you couldn't do like the weakness, I think you would need to put like what? What is it like? Uh, four damage? No. I think five damage counters to get a KO on a VMAX like this if you don't have the weakness. Uh, I guess I would need to check. I always just, I'm not good at math. I always need to do these calculations. And she used a card that I actually almost didn't know it existed, this familiar bell card. Didn't really consider it when I was building my V Union decks and expanded, but this is a a good card to I guess help you get the V Union pieces in hand. And then you can discard them with stuff like Quick Ball. Now in expanded of course there's bad compressor which is superior and pretty much ban worthy broken at this point. It's been like this for a while in my opinion. Um but uh, I guess in standard, Familiar Bell is an option. At least you can grab the pieces and get rid of them that way. We don't even have Roxy anymore. That would have been good, actually. Then I think in standard, the decks would have been more consistent with the Union. But anyway, she promotes the other Shadow Rider Kylox VMAX. It's all she can really do. Even if she gets another KO, I mean... Moltres can get the job done too. I just need to use his ability, attach a darkness energy, and that's going to do it. Air Balloon. Another Air Balloon. And 
Now she's going to go for Marnie. So she's doing everything she can uh, to disrupt me. I guess not see an energy or whatever, but I do see it. Um, we did have the Sobble down, so just a level ball and a Drizzly was going to do the trick anywhere. I also saw that. But, you know, we got the Darkness energy anyway. So here it goes, promote the Moltres. Just going to use his ability, attach the Darkness energy. And this is going to be an easy 1A KO once again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this match. Um, yeah, I did have a really big advantage in this match, but you can only play against what you play against. So it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Either way, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys on the next one. What I...